Today we are talking about First Dwarf. Is this new game worth playing? Let's dive in and find out. First Dwarf is set in an exciting open world that was once a whole planet but was broken into floating islands after a great war. Players take on the role of True, a scouting engineer in a mech, who explores these unknown lands to find a new home for the dwindling dwarven civilization. True is joined by his friend, a female dragon named Ragna. Together, they gather resources, collect mana to power and upgrade the mech, build bases, set up defenses, and fight local creatures to complete their mission. As the story progresses, True and Ragna will uncover secrets about the land. The quest takes an interesting turn when True finds clues about his long-lost father, who once tried to conquer the area but never returned. There's also a powerful being that threatens the future of the Dwarven Kingdom. In the game, players become True, a Dwarven explorer who builds colonies on the floating islands of Driftland. After being shipwrecked, True must prepare for the dangers of these high-altitude lands by building defences and infrastructure for future colonists. With his engineering skills, he can repair and pilot a powerful mech, which is useful for combat, gathering resources, and building. The mech can be upgraded to become the ultimate exploration machine, and its weapons will help fend off hostile creatures. But the mech isn't enough to solve all the mysteries of Driftland. Ragnar, the she-dragon, helps True in his quest. She can fly, breathe fire, and explore areas the mech can't reach. The game can be played in co-op mode, both split-screen and online, where each player can take on different roles. Building a colony and managing settlers is another important part of True's job. Using tower defense mechanisms, players can protect the settlement from threats. True also needs to balance the needs of the inhabitants, providing resources, shelter, and entertainment to keep them happy. Only a prosperous society will let True pursue his personal goal finding out what evil lurks in the lands and what happened to previous Dwarven expeditions, including his father's. Base building in First Dwarf is enjoyable. You gather resources and build from scratch. While resource gathering is slow manually, you can use mana pipelines to speed up the process. Placing buildings in the 3D world is easy, and once you get the hang of it, a thriving civilization will appear quickly. Although the building system isn't very deep, it's exciting to see how big your bases can get. You'll build bases on multiple islands and defend them with turrets against dangers. Monsters inhabit these islands, but you're capable of defending yourself. You can explore on foot, but using your mech is much more effective. With a powerful weapon, enemies are less of a threat. Combat in First Dwarf is interesting because it involves timing. After your first hit on an enemy, a meter appears and you must time your next attack correctly to keep hitting. If your timing is off, you have to restart, giving the enemy an advantage. This system might seem unusual for an action RPG, but it feels satisfying to pull off a string of attacks. The demo hints at weapon variety. For example, the lightning hammer has a charge attack that deals significant damage. Different weapons will likely behave differently, adding depth to combat. There's also a cooperative mode where both players control dwarves and can switch to Ragnar. Ragnar can scout and breathe fire, adding another layer of strategy. The world of Driftland is beautifully designed with unique environments and challenges on each island. The graphics are stunning, with detailed landscapes and vibrant colors. The sound design is also excellent, with music and sound effects that enhance the experience. The storyline is engaging, with enough mystery and intrigue to keep players hooked. The quest to find True's father and uncover Driftland's secrets provides a compelling narrative. The characters, including True and Ragnar, are well-developed and add emotional depth to the story. The gameplay balances exploration, combat, and building well. There's always something to do, whether it's gathering resources, building structures, or fighting monsters. However, resource gathering can feel repetitive at times, and the combat system, while unique, might take time to get used to for some players. First, Dwarf offers a rich and immersive experience. With its engaging story, unique gameplay mechanics, and stunning visuals, it's a game worth playing. The cooperative mode makes it even more fun for those who enjoy playing with friends. Thanks for tuning in to our first Dwarf review. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more gaming content. Share your thoughts in the comments. What are your opinions on First Dwarf? See you in the next video.